afternoon All night she wants what she wants And she's gonna take it even if you don't come through We walk and talk and think we know those things we gonna do What you gonna do? Yeah What you gonna Hello, my beautiful souls. I hope you are well. Thank you so much for clicking. I am Ziana Washington, and this is the Routine Mom channel. Um, we are starting a new vlog today. I hope you are well. You are keeping safe, like I am. So um, today, errands. Then I need to go get a pedicure done. I also need to get the gel uh, redone. Like. I never like I had I think I've gone like thrice just to have a pity but we've really really grown so as you can see so like getting to like bend over and <laughs> like scrub the heels and exfoliate my feet is really a challenge right now so that's why I'm now intentionally going like every month just to get uh, the pedicure done so that I can also have a scrub and all that then yeah the gels as well as you can see the lashes like came off like in two weeks they had already come off so I think that's like a waste of money uh, unless you're doing the the hybrid ones those that last for like a month a month and a half yeah so but if you're on a budget and you just need to look cute you can go for those ones for 800 and a, or a thousand bob like the ones i had done the classic ones and yeah you'll get purpose for the event but they won't even like last that long if you uh don't take care of them so yeah let's kick off with the errands like i've said the pedicure the gel as well then after that i'll be coming back and i'll be showing you um the stuff that i'd said i'll show you last week the ones i had gone to get from the cbd last week and i'll also show you like what we got from that as a whole event if you watched the vlog last week so we were given some goodies i'll be showing you that today as well so stick around if you love such kind of uh, content Here on this channel we do home content lifestyle everything in between motherhood cooking cleaning organization so if that is your kind of uh, feel then click that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload new content and content like this so let's get on to the errands oh i also need to pass by mommy eyewear to collect my glasses also saw that from the previous vlog i had gone to mommy eyewear to get uh nini get uh, my glasses nini down so they are ready i'll also be passing by there to get them and then i'll show you also as i do the haul of the stuff that i had gotten last week so yeah let's kick off the vlog oh, i forgot to show you my outfit for today so um on the lips let's start with the makeup on the lips i have the black opal impassioned pink lip gloss i don't have any makeup on as you can see we are very oily <laughs> nowadays then this is the dress i'm wearing yeah and then those are the shoes let me move a bit closer those are the shoes i'm wearing for comfort yeah so that is my outfit for today question do on my body which bitch i look like money Walking, it's all eyes on me I know it's hard to approach me, yeah Pop my shit like bubble gum It, girl, this vibe is one-on-one -on -one. And I ain't here looking for love But all the signs will turn me on Sit back and enjoy the view Look so good, shit, pay-per-view Shit, pay-per-view Look so good, shit, pay-per-view Sit back, enjoy the view Look so good, shit, pay-per-view Look so good, 
Hey guys, so I am back home. Like I promised, I'll be doing a, like a Kamini haul for you guys to show the things that are taking me to the last errand. So like I mentioned from the Zoho event, but if you haven't watched that video, I'll put um, a link up here so that you can click and watch uh, last week's vlog. So this is the backpack that came that everyone in the event received. So it's really nice, made of sisal. This one can really come in handy when going for shopping because it's like the tough kind and it's really nice it's a neutral color so inside they put for us like a like a laptop bag i didn't even get to open but i saw guys open so i have a view of how it looks so let's just unbox it together yeah so this is how it looks but it's very very masculine let me remove this uh wrap over here the thing about it it, it is a good color but it's very very masculine i don't see myself carrying carrying this <laughs> bag at it for the laptop and what because it, it's like very very manly very very manly just by the look at it. So this one I'll be, of course, <laughs> giving it out. But it's really, really nice. Really nice quality. It has, a, yeah, like one, two. It has many compartments to put the documents. Yeah, because it has this one over here. There's a zipper. And also here, there's another compartment over here. Then there's this zip over here. Yeah, it's really, really nice. And then, uh, I think this is not what. Oh, like, a, like it's like a portfolio of all their products. I don't know, it can't because of it's white. But now it just details uh, their services. You can see here sales, marketing, customer support. So I'll probably go through it just to get to know more of what they have. Then, lastly, as usual, Zoho will serve you with enough pencils, but I usually share my boys so I don't get to like keep all of them. So, even last time, they gave us pencils in a pack like this so this is how they look there are five yeah then lastly um, this let's just check what this is it looks like a pocket mirror let me just open it this is how it's branded also like a neutral color oh it's a usb cable <laughs> trust zoho also for giving you usb cables like i say their gifting ideas are more masculine manly like last time they gave us pencils also like a charger sketching book <laughs> so this time there's also a usb inside here but the packaging is really really nice very thoughtful so i think this is how you remove the cable it's like a small one i think it's very convenient to put in your backpack it's a type c then it has like these two others for the <clears throat> the other normal do you call them normal or android phones i do not know but i think the 2.0 and this other one i don't know what it charges like this kind but this other one, sorry, this other one, it's for the 2.0 cables. Yeah. That's it for from Zoho. So let me keep that aside. I also took my glasses from Mummy Eyewear. 
so this is the case that i chose really nice really nice brown and the glasses also i opted for a cut eye just something slightly different from what i had picked at la Pair last time so this is how i feel like it complements my face yeah so these are a new pair of glasses until they when they last <laughs> really nice really affordable so they're called mommy eyewear can her building westlands you can just check them out they are really really affordable that i can i can guarantee they also accept insurance cards so if you are uh insured you can check if your insurer is um has catered you to get your glasses at mommy eyewear yeah so these are my glasses then what else oh the stuff that I'd also gone to pick are these cushions. Let me turn my camera so that you see. You see these cushions? Yeah, there's a lady who was making for me. I only needed four, so I had to collect them from her shop. So I passed by there and I collected them. I feel they will complement my off-white seats because uh, I didn't want to pick like another neutral colors for the cushions. Yeah. And they were also very like affordable. So this is how it looks and uh, the, the inside is the, um, what do you call it, the feelings. Um, I'm forgetting the name, the things they feel inside. <clears throat> yeah, the natural fibers. <laughs> My son is over here telling me his point, but no, the, the natural fibers, yeah. So it's like really, really full, which I like. Ita bondeka like karaka. So these are for my seats, not the bedroom. I'll be using them. Then I'll buy like cushion covers just to be changing whenever I want to change the color. But this is how they look. So I had to collect this as well. Those are four. Then lastly, no, last but not least. Remember I talked about a uh, receiving set. For the baby, so I picked white because I do not know the gender of the baby yet. But once we do, you will start seeing the colors that I <laughs> I show you from the holes of the clothes that I pick. So this is the pack. I don't know if I should remove it. Let me just put it over here. Let's see, okay. So inside, the car three pairs of white socks but they everything is white in this uh, pack also this is like a warm blanket white one as well there are like uh, three vests white ones just show you actually there are four four vests yeah four white vests then now there's the, the set itself. This car jumper looks really nice, really cute. <laughs> Comes with the, it has a hoodie, which is really, again, nice. That's a plus. Having a hoodie. Then another second jumper or top. They are cotton, by the way, heavy. This one doesn't have a hoodie, but also so cute. Very, very cute. Then a romper. This is how the romper looks. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. Very nostalgic. Then it has two trousers. One does not have the knees at the bottom. What do you call them? These two. It's not closed. So this one is closed. This one is open at the bottom. So two trousers and a t-shirt, a white t-shirt. Then two cover-ups. Yeah, this is like a one in cotton. This one is light. Then this one is a bit heavy. Then it, it is hooded. Those hooded, um, I don't know what you call them. They have a name, I'm forgetting. They are not carriers they're not covers they're not duvets but yeah it has a hood that's the point it has a hood 
So like when they shower, you just put them up or because it's more of like a kata while it's hooded. Yeah, so that's it from the things that I had gone to pick for the baby. I'm super super excited like all oh, this is so nostalgic <laughs> like shopping for baby items six years down the line I had forgotten about how that feels but I'm really really excited and looking forward to shopping for the baby but this time I'll be doing a wise yeah I can call it wise shopping like I'll be very intentional of what I buy and why I need to buy it because like from the previous um pregnancies or shopping for the pregnancies my two pregnancies before like i would always be carried away and thrilled and then i would buy stuff that would never come to use some stuff i gave them away they outgrew some even others they didn't wear so i want to be very minimal and very intentional about what i buy yeah just to ensure that i buy the necessary things I know sometimes you get carried away as moms, like everything is so beautiful, it's so nice, you just want to buy for your baby. But this time I'm going to be like really, really intentional over it. Also, I want to be buying like, like a lot of stuff because I realize when the kid is young, like zero to three months or even three to six months, they outgrow their outfits really quickly. So I'd rather buy what they'll be needing between the zero to six months then now from six months onwards now i can buy the exact um sizes and like now many fits for them to be changing regularly because i have learned i have learned you buy a cloth one month then the next month it can't feel the child anymore my babies like really grow big really really big so that i have learned that's why my shopping this time is gonna be intentional so lastly yeah we've gotten the nails done these are the nails looking so good opted for a shade of purple but very light this here on the ring finger is um, silver shiny looking so nice then let me turn the camera over i show you my toes because we also did the 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 pedi following day thank you so much for keeping up with the vlog um so today i'm set out to go for a clinic and uh, today is also when i will be finding out like the gender of the baby uh, the previous uh, scans that i've gone to i've always told uh, the doc not to let me know or, le or let me see i think i've been anxious and nervous about it but i think it's about time uh, i won't tell you like how far we are gone but this is how big we are <laughs> and someone is here these guys are super excited and they also want to come with me hey boys hi you said today you're going with mommy yes yeah they want to hear the heartbeat and uh, we are hopeful that god will answer our prayers because our prayers have been to have like a baby girl they want a baby sister i'm a mnataka baby sister <laughs> another brother no yeah so we hope that god will um, answer our prayer but you know what they say like whatever god decides it's the best he knows why so me i'm hopeful of uh, my prayers being answered but whichever way it turns out i'm also okay so also after we come from here uh there's a house that i need to go check like i just had someone this time i didn't go around looking for houses so that's just to say we are moving houses again in less than a year because like living in like this building in this house where we are art has been like quite difficult the noise the dust like and then they did not keep true to their word in there with their construction so like the deadline they were supposed to finish because they had said by last year august in 2023 we moved here in june so we so we were like three months we can tolerate the noise and everything but now we're in 2024 march and they're nowhere near like finishing so they just hurried up to complete the exteriors of the building but now it's when they're doing the interiors they are like sudden walls and peppering the walls so there's a lot of dust we are suffering from allergies 
even right now you can hear the noise in the background so it has also become difficult for me to like do meetings especially now when they are cutting those things and other people are like i don't know chiseling it's too much noise then now the allergies the never ending coughs you know so we just decided to do a last minute decision to just move houses so there are two houses that i need to go check because uh, i just had someone to help me find and then narrow down to like my specifics i was very specific because i wanted also a house that is well lit like in this house even right now like the the lights the bulbs have to be on too, so that i can be able to vlog like whether we fold the curtains or not like the sitting room is very dark the sunlight does not hit the sitting room so also doing the vlogs like when i'm doing cleaning organization of my sitting room it has been like quite a task so after the clinic i'll be going to check the house then we'll be moving like uh this weekend like we are not even wasting time <laughs> it's a bit expensive it wasn't on the budget but i think it is the best short-term decision that we will make for ourselves and the boys as well so guys let's go to the clinic and then we'll catch up from there Here we were already done, we were just waiting to pick a prescription from the pharmacy and we, the boys and I were discussing about how they were feeling after seeing the baby during the scan and also hearing the heartbeat. I can tell you they were super excited and thrilled seeing the little hands, the fingerprint, the heart and also hearing the heartbeat itself, seeing the kidney and also seeing the gender of the baby. They were excited, I'll say, but I was as well, and I thank God. So, due to the hospital policy, we couldn't uh, vlog inside the room where they do the scans, which I totally understand. It's a policy, and uh, couldn't get a clip for you guys. But I can tell you, it went well. So, stick around for the gender very soon. So, after the hospital. We went to see the house that I was telling you, so I viewed the two and I thought so for this one, as you can see, the sitting room is very well lit. You will see how spacious the toilet and the bathrooms are. My bedroom is also very, very big. Boys' room, very spacious and it's very convenient for me because it is just next to where my boys go to school. So even they will be taking themselves and bringing them home, so it cuts that hassle for me. So here are some clips just for the empty house tour.
Hi guys, so today is the moving in day. We found a house and we just moved in immediately like I mentioned. Sorry, there's an echo because the house is still empty. So the guys, like I've shown you, they're still removing things from the truck and then I'm bringing them inside. So let me just give you, let me give you like a, a small tour of the house so that you can see. So from tomorrow, we'll be seeing a different environment of the house. I'm super, super thrilled. They can't even ask of getting this house. And I'm also super glad because the house is next to my kids' school. Like from the kitchen window, let me just show you. I'm able to see my son's classroom. So here, we're in the kitchen. As you can see, the stuff, uh, they're still bringing in the stuff. So this is my kitchen. This is the, my kitchen window. Yeah, let me adjust the resolution. Like the, on the fifth floor, I'm able to see my son's classroom over there. <laughs> over there, how convenient is that? So we're just next to the school. That is something that is making me super, super excited. <laughs> I broke uh, my candle as I was moving this uh, table. Oh but you, have, you have for the lemon and the lavender. Mm. My candle has broken, you, you have, guys. Mom, and you I have hadn't three, even used you it. You have four candles, mom. Mm -hmm. See, this one is broken. It's you broken, yeah. Kelly, you have the one for Christmas. Mom, you have the one for Christmas. Mm. For lavender and for lemon. Mm. Let's use them. Please go back here. Yeah, I'll use there earlier. I'll put them here. But now I love this one. I wanted to try out this one. But maybe to try a kwa glass. <laughs> Thank God it hasn't like dismantled. So the candle is still intact. But now the jar broke. Let's try to forget and then we continue with arranging the house. 
so that is it for this weekly vlog we'll have to end it here because it's gonna be long if we even start arranging and rearranging this house but uh the movers are still bringing in more stuff as you can see so i truly appreciate if you've watched till this far uh more work will be there tomorrow i think i'll vlog tomorrow with you guys as i clean as i wash the chairs because at some point they really got dirty and also as i arrange all the clothes and put like everything in its place i truly appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and supporting our content if you have subscribed thank you so much if you've watched also please feel free to leave me a comment down below